What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to add a really abstract, colorful motion blur to your photography. First, get yourself a dope image to work with that has a little bit of movement in it, and then go ahead and mask it out. I found this image over at Envato.com, and the affiliate link is below. As soon as your image is masked out, go ahead and convert it to a smart object then scale as you need. I'm just gonna make it a little bigger. Then hit Command J to create a duplicate layer of that image. Now you're gonna to wanna to go up to Filter, then we're gonna to go to Blur Gallery, and then we're gonna to go to Path Blur. Now you'll see this arrow right here. If you don't see it, go ahead and hit Command H. Over here in your Path Blur section, be sure to uncheck Centered Blur, and then go ahead and increase your speed a little bit and that's going to make more blur. Now go ahead and turn your arrow in the direction that you want the blur to go in. And from here, you can start messing around with the blur path. You can even add multiple path blurs. As soon as you see something you like, go ahead and hit OK. What I like to do is make multiple path blurs. So I'm gonna hit Command J on that bottom layer one more time, drag it to the top, and do another round of path blurs. I wanna show you one more thing to get a little more abstract with the blurs. So go ahead and hit Command J, make a duplicate. Let's go ahead and drag it to the top. Go back to Filter, Blur Gallery, Path Blur. And from here, we're gonna uncheck Center Blur, increase the speed, but this time we're gonna hit, hit edit blur shapes. And this will allow us to get even more funky. If you could do a favor and hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it, thanks. And once you're happy with what you got, hit okay. And as you can see, this top layer just kind of adds a little bit more using that edit. Now it's totally up to you on what you want to do. You can keep the same colors that we have in our photography, or you can get a little funky with it. What I'm gonna do is hit hold shift, select these layers we just created, hit command G, then I'm going to go down to our adjustment layers, gradient map, and then on the gradient map, I'm going to use a clipping mask by hitting Option Command G, connecting it to that group, and then we're just going to mess around with the colors. Then let's see what happens if we mess around with the background color. That looks pretty cool. And another thing you can do while we're still here is some t sometimes people like to put these path blurs behind the object like that or keep them above the object and keep it a little more abstract. Go ahead and do whatever works for you. But I like what we got here. It came out pretty cool. If you guys like this, go ahead and hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one.